Hey, how's it going everybody? Ryan Gass here, PTP. And I wanted to come on here and make this quick little video because, uh, so, you know, as surprised as you might be, uh, I was kind of surprised too. There's still people who do not know that in Maryland, you can now get a concealed carry permit and it's not hard at all. Uh, this has uh, changed as of June 23rd of 2022. It's been almost a year and a half since they made this change, and a lot of people still don't know about how easy it can be to get a Maryland handgun permit. The best way and the most short way to explain it is if you pass the training, you pass the background check, and you apply, you will get your what's called a Maryland handgun permit, which allows you to conceal carry. You will receive that within about, right now, it's about seven to eight weeks, uh, you'll have that permit in hand. And once you have that, where applicable, where legal, you can then conceal carry your handgun in Maryland. I know it's, 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 it's still probably surprising for some people uh, because for decades, Maryland discriminated against who they would give a concealed carry permit to and who they would not. And for years, it was very, very limited on who could actually exercise their right to keep bear arms. But now that has changed. And it's not because any uh, particular politician, no matter which politician might want to take credit for that in Maryland, whether past or present, uh, whether it be Larry Hogan or whether, whatever else, that is due to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court uh, decided in a, in a landmark decision uh, regarding the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, which is the superintendent of the New York State Police at that time, uh, they said, hey, they had a, a, a very similar policy where they were discriminating against who can get a concealed carry permit and who could not. And they decided in that case that they can't do that. That is unconstitutional and illegal, and they must stop that. And because of that, Larry Hogan was like, oh, well, we're doing the same illegal and constitutional thing here in Maryland. And he was like, well, to be in compliance with what the Supreme Court has decided, hey, Maryland State Police, stop enforcing this discriminatory part of our law. And now since June 23rd of 2022, anybody and everybody, whether you live in Maryland or not, I don't even live in Maryland myself. I am a uh, Marylander, you know, through and through, you know, born and raised in, in Maryland. But when I got out of the Marine Corps, I couldn't afford to live in Maryland. I didn't like the gun laws or taxes. So we evacuated. We took our family to Virginia. And I'm actually outside of my, from outside of my front of my house here in uh, Colonial Beach, Virginia. And even myself as a Virginia resident, I have my Maryland concealed carry permit. And I can concealed carry in Maryland as well. And I want to help you do just that. So give me a call. I would love to have you in a future class. Uh, we can do everything for you. We can do the training, the fingerprints, the photographs, and we can even submit your applications on your behalf so you don't have to worry about any paperwork at all. Give me a call. Phone number right there, 240-925-5788, or get signed up on my website, ptpgun.com. The link is right there as well. Uh, but however you do need to do it, do it. Get concealed carry now. Do not put it off any longer. You never know when you will need it. You, I would rather you to uh, have it and never need it than need it and never have it. And I would love to help you have your firearm, whether it's needing to get an HQL so you can buy a handgun or wanting to get the concealed carry training so you can get your Maryland handgun permit so you can carry that firearm on you. However I can help you, please let me know. Call me or text me, 240-925-5788. I look forward to having you in a future class.